Number 10. Honda S2000 Built to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Honda Motor Company, the S2000 was the grandchild of the legendary S600. First shown to the public as a concept car at 1995 Tokyo Motor Show, the production version was unveiled on April 15, 1999. Like the original NSX, the S2000 was a home run for Honda. The S2000 had every essential ingredient required for a perfect sports car. Codenamed as F20C, the 2-liter inline 4 engine made a very healthy 237 brake horsepower at 8300 rpm and 280 Nm of torque at 7500 rpm. The engine maxed out at 8900 rpm. During its lifetime, this engine held the record for having the highest specific output at 123.5 brake horsepower per liter. Number 9. Porsche 911 GT3 The 911 needs no introduction. It is one of the best sports cars in the world. Unlike a traditional sports car like the S2000, the 911 has got one of its key parts in the wrong place. The engine. The flat 6 engine sits on the very back of the car, driving the rear wheel. Yet somehow, Porsche managed to make the 911 the best handling car in its class. The 911 GT3 is powered by a naturally aspirated 4 liter flat 6 engine that produces 502 brake horsepower at 8300 rpm and 470 Nm of torque at 6100 rpm. And this engine sinks all the way up to 9000 rpm. The power is transferred to the rear wheel through a 7 speed PDK.
Number 8. Ferrari 458 Italia Launched as the replacement for F430, the 458 Italia quickly became the benchmark for supercar performance. It was among one of the most beautiful cars of its time, and unfortunately, this car also marked the end of an era in Ferrari family. The 458 Italia was the last car from Ferrari to feature a naturally aspirated V8 engine. The 4.5-liter V8 made 562 brake horsepower at 9,000 rpm and 540 Nm of torque at 6,000 rpm. In the 458 Speciale, however, that power figure went up to 600 brake horsepower, but the torque remained the same. The Speciale was the final run of the 458. <laughs> Number 7. Lexus LFA The LFA needs no introduction. The car has become somewhat of a living legend. Some people may disagree with that statement. But the one thing that we all can agree upon is that the LFA is among one of the best, if not the best sounding car ever made. It screams to its 9000 rpm redline like nothing else. The 4.8 liter 1LR GOE V10 engine should be considered as a work of art. The LFA was a dramatic departure from Lexus's usual dull and soulless executive sedans and SUVs. The V10 made 552 brake horsepower at 8700 rpm and 480 Nm of torque at 6800 rpm, 90% of which was available from just 3700 rpm. The weak point of the LFA was its transmission. It works flawlessly when you are pushing the car, but in a day-to-day -day use scenario, it's a bit clunky. At the time of its launch, the LFA was priced at 400,000 US dollars. But today, if you want one, you will have to spend at least double the original MSRP.
Number 6. Porsche 918 Spider. When it was launched back in 2013, the 918 Spider was the heaviest and the least powerful car among the holy trinity of hypercars. But in a typical Porsche fashion, the 918 Spider ended up being the quickest among them. The car was powered by a 4.8 liter naturally aspirated V8, making 608 brake horsepower and 522 Nm of torque. Combined with two electric motors at front and rear axle, each making 129 and 156 brake horsepower, the combined output was 887 brake horsepower and 1280 Nm of torque. That amount of power combined with all-wheel traction helped the 918 Spider to accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 2.2 seconds, which is just insane, especially when you consider the fact that this car was launched 8 years ago. Ferrari LaFerrari The Ferrari LaFerrari was the most powerful car in the holy trinity of hypercars. Unlike the other two cars in the group, the LaFerrari wasn't a plug-in hybrid. Instead, Ferrari used the kinetic energy recovery system like in the Formula 1 race cars. The kinetic energy recovery system recoups the wasted energy from braking to fill in the torque gaps during acceleration. With the claimed brake horsepower of 950 bhp, this car was the least efficient in the group. Also, the LaFerrari was the only car in the trio to have a V12 engine. The 6.2 liter naturally aspirated engine produced 789 brake horsepower at 9000 rpm and 700 Nm of torque at 6750 rpm. The engine maxed out at 9250 rpm. The Mazda RX-8 was the last of its kind, a rotary-powered sports car. The RX-8 packed a tiny 1.3-liter three-rotor Wankel engine, which despite its relatively small size, made a very healthy 228 brake horsepower without the help of any kind of forced induction technique. At the same time, due to the small size, the engine struggled with lack of low and torque. But that can be easily forgiven since the engine can rev up to 9400 rpm in a blink of an eye. This highly responsive engine combined with excellent handling characteristics made the RX-8 a hood to drive. Unfortunately, due to the high emissions from the Wankel engine, Mazda had to cease the production of the RX-8 back in 2012. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.
Honda S600. Most of the time when someone tries to make a sports car for the very first time, usually it ends up being subpar or underwhelming. But that wasn't the case with the Honda. They went from nothing to the kings of high revving sports car with the launch of S600. Launched in 1964, the S600 was the second car in their S series of sports cars after the S500. All the S series cars had naturally aspirated 4 cylinder 4 stroke engine. But what made the S600 special was its 602cc 4 cylinder 4 stroke engine was capable of revving all the way up to 9500 rpm. The engine produced 60 brake horsepower at 8500 rpm and 51 Nm of torque at 5500 rpm. Which may not sound a lot, but in a car that just weighs 700 kg, that's more than enough to have a good time. Aerial Atom V8. With a 0 to 100 km per hour time of just 2.3 seconds, the Aerial Atom V8 was the quickest accelerating car in the world when it was launched back in 2008. Even more than a decade later, there aren't many cars out there that can match the Aerial Atom V8 in terms of acceleration. With only 25 cars made, it is also one of the rarest cars in the world. The biggest attraction of this car was obviously its engine. The 3-liter Frankenstein V8 was made by combining two Hayabusa engine blocks. This engine makes 500 brake horsepower at 10,600 rpm, which is also happens to be its red line, and a peak torque figure of 390 Nm at 7,700 rpm. With the car weighing in at just 550 kg, it has a power to weight ratio of 909 brake horsepower per ton, which is almost double as that of the Bugatti Chiron. GMA T50. Even though it was not made by McLaren, the T50 is the true spiritual successor of the F1. Designed by the legendary designer Mr. Gordon Murray, who also happens to be the designer of the F1, the T50 reinstates the criteria for what a true driver's car should be. In the era of turbochargers and hybrids, the T50 is powered by a Cosworth built 4 liter V12 making 653 brake horsepower at 11,300 rpm and 467 Nm of torque at 9,000 rpm. This engine is capable of revving all the way up to 12,500 rpm, which is just nuts. What's even more impressive is that this car weighs less than 1,000 kilograms, 986 kilograms to be exact. Just like its predecessor, the T50 can seat three occupants, including the driver. Mm -hmm. 